Hello, hello everyone. I think this is going to be a video in bits because I'm wrecked. I'm just really tired. It was a long day yesterday. It was an early start, but it was like so worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm just out with the dogs, giving them a quick run in the field. And then I'm going to go back to bed for a couple of hours and then do stuff. Um, but yeah, yesterday was so cool. And like on even more reflection of it, something that, I always do my best to train is a good recall and it was the good recall that rescued the obedience test with pod from the butterflies because it's something that I just have practiced from when he was a puppy is it always going to be 100% no he's a dog I'm a human you know it, it just, you know, things happen. But I practice recall in multiple situations, multiple scenarios, multiple places um, with a good success rate. So even though butterflies overrode the carriage briefly, my recall overrode the butterflies in his little priorities list so he got distracted by butterflies I recalled him he got back to task and that is basically what the um the judge said to me was yeah he got distracted but he came immediately back to you when you recalled him so he's still safe and he didn't go near the horse he didn't go near to cross in front of the horse getting in trouble with the wheels of the carriage nothing so he was safe um but yeah recall is the most important thing you will ever teach your dog for safety you know it doesn't matter what the situation is if you've got a good recall you can keep your dog safe um and yeah, it really saved me. So just another little thing, like just teach your dog recall. Because a solid recall, your dog gets freedom. Your dog can be a dog and have fun and go sniffing, exploring, everything like that. But you call them, you whistle them, whatever method you use to recall your dog. And your dog knows to come knows there's going to be positive reward environment coming back to you then they will and freedom continues to be had by all kind of things so you know if they don't listen put them on a lead for a minute wait for them to calm down get them to do a few little obedience things you know sit spin down tricks anything get their focus on you and you feel like they're calm and taking a breath. Hey, banana! <laughs> Hello, banana! Hello, nana banana! Hello, nana banana! Wow, you're bouncy this morning. You're bouncy this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, once you get their focus back on you, then this way, guys, you can. Let them off again, test it again. And don't just test your recall when you need it. Oh, she put black in. She must have done. Um, unless the girl's gone out riding. Um, yeah. So test it when nothing's going on. Otherwise, your dog is going to associate you recalling them with something like another dog, another person, uh, this, that, or going to associate coming back to you with the end of the walk, going back on lead. So just recall them, give them fuss, give them a treat, send them on their way again. They never know then when the end of the walk is near, they never associate you recalling them with people and dogs approaching it's just 
just to check, just check in with you. Sorry, I really am going to shut up now because I'm going to go back to bed. So, back again, afternoon again. <laughs> um, June's on guard duty, motorbikes have just gone past. Um, but I was thinking as I was coming out, I have to like change the time I'm filming for the light soon because this is like the afternoon and the sun has just gone behind the clouds because it was quite bright and sunny here when I first came out. It's okay now, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just thinking optimum time to film might be a bit different. Um, but exciting things happening in a fortnight. Uh, our members of Team Harvena already know, and yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, so there's that. Then this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'm at the Autumn Show at the Three County Showground in Malvern with Pod and Nala doing, or oh, being one of a number of people taking part in the carriage dog display and the carriage display for the Three Counties Carriage Group. See, when I'm tired, words just get hard and they jumble. Um, so, yeah, if you come in along, come and find us, come and meet Pod and Nala. Um, it's not like a dog event, so only dogs that are taking part in the displays. There's like gun dog displays, I think, as well, and some other dog displays and various things going on um, with dogs. But only dogs that are doing the displays are allowed in, from what I can gather, because um, otherwise I would have thinking about it I should have booked more dogs to come even though they weren't all doing the display um, but I might well message them because there's a stall for the three counties group and I think they want Dalmatians on the stall at various times of the day and um, Mrs Pumpkin would absolutely love that because she's so funny out on a walk she's like wriggling her whole body in anticipation because somebody's walking towards us so she can jump up on them and give them a kiss and like i try and stop her from jumping up so i am doing that but she gets very excited to meet her adoring fans because in pumpkins world everyone is an adoring fan and she was so funny yesterday there was like this old jack russell dog uh the girl i think it was but um they were playing a bit and the owner was a bit concerned that she was going to bite pumpkin i was like don't worry i said they play in but anyway so because she was concerned we sort of held them away from one another pumpkin was on lead and then pumpkin got on the floor and she did three rolls rolls just went round round and round getting closer to this dog so she could carry on fighting play well i say fighting play fighting you know just like this they were playing but it was pumpkin that was doing the lower down part and being submissive to this Jack Russell. Because even though it was a lot smaller than her, it was an older um, bitch. So Pumpkin was playing really nicely with her. And really, like, appropriately for the size of dog and the age of dog she was playing with. So, but how clever is she to not just walk, try and pull against the lead to go and carry on playing. Just to do three rolls, getting closer to that dog. So when I say things like pumpkins just so clever, it's unbelievable. It's stuff like that. She's just on another level. So um, anyway, I'm going to leave this here because I'm tired. And other than those pair, everyone is really chill. So um, yeah, anyway, I shall see you all soon. Bye.